the cheap ones. We'll put these, we'll get a dozen of those. <laughs> cheap. It's the cheap ones. That's how I run. That's how you run. Are you filming? I am. So, with Mike's draw weight, and we're gonna put 100 grains on the end, the, these are Victory Vape SS's, so they're actually woven stainless steel in the shaft. So they're a micro diameter shaft, but they're weighted like a full size shaft. So, and it adds durability. Like you can, I actually shot into a fence once and I pulled it out and straight as could be, just kept shooting. So that's pretty sweet. 50 grain uh, excerpt, 100 grain point weight for Mike's draw weight. We're running 350 spine. It's rock. Mason here has got all the toys necessary to uh, crank out everything you need for fall. Let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna cut, we're cutting off um, some of the shaft to get down to Mike's 29 inches. So what you want to do is you run it in a, a roller to see how straight your arrow is. There's an actual name for this, but I can't remember what it is. Um, Does and that then, tell you anything, or what do you think? Yeah, so what we're looking for here is we look for a wobble. So you watch either end of the arrow, and whichever end wobbles the most, that's the end we're going to cut okay off. and i think i just saw that end this end on is quite a bit. one more so we're going to cut off this end. see if we can get that yeah and then that end over there i mean hardly did anything right yeah you can totally see that yep that's not yep. moving at all and then this side is just going like crazy gotcha. you always put it in the middle of the shaft when you're rolling it yeah, yeah, it'll, yeah. No, oh, I suppose you have to, for yeah, balance. For balance, yep, yeah. exactly. Yep, that's definitely the side. So then we come over here, and you said 29 from sh the shaft? Or yeah, we'll do, yeah, we'll do um, without the knock. So without like the, the actual shaft length will do 29. It'll just be like probably a quarter inch three eighths inch longer than what I've got right now. Get a little extra weight. Cause what are these? These are running, how many grains per inch on these? Uh, nine something, nine I think. They're 286 grains. Okay. Total at. Oh, so they're probably just a little over nine. 286 at 31 inches. 286 divided 31. You're on 9.23 grains per inch. Nice. So you're, okay. you're <clears throat> just your arrow weight is going to be 268 grains. Okay. So I'll be right, probably. And then you're gonna you're gonna add twenty for your lighted knock. You're gonna add fifty for your excerpt, and you're gonna add a hundred for your point. You're gonna be two thirty eight overall weight, which is four thirty eight. Four thirty eight. Yeah. Four thirty eight. Oh, that'll be. Yep, that's that's right perfect. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah, not not overly heavy either. Get some get some speed on it. Right. We're gonna run an eighth long. Here. Yep. You're supposed to be able to use this this measuring thing here, but I, I... it's always nice to double. It's always good to verify. Measure twice, cut once. I My dad taught me that one. That's right. <laughs> I had to learn it the hard way anyway, but that's how it rolls. Yeah. You're gonna be 29 and 
I guess you can run it past a mace. Which is, I mean, we're talking not that big a deal. Mason and I shoot like 27, 28 inch draw. We got short people problems. <laughs> <Poor stubby. laughs> we're we're stubby. All right, so this is going to be a touch loud. You're sucking up the carbon that comes off, you know. You've, you've thought of everything. Yeah. So, um. when you cut an arrow shaft, on these especially, you want to hold down by the blade. And then you never want to run your arrow shaft into the blade like this. You always want to sp just barely have the blade touching it and then spin it. So then you have a straight cut. Because if you push it in, it'll actually angle. The At angle, because you're actually yep, sweeping you're, yep, when you're, you're pushing in. Yep, exactly. So nice. Okay. What you want to do there, measure this to make sure we're right. It's, it's basically like... <laughs> it's geometry. You're cutting an angle all the way around, basically. Yep. You want me to cut it? Oh, that's okay. No, you're dead. 29 on the money. Check that out, Mike. Oh. Okay. All right. We're one thirty seconds short. Right on the money. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy that almost gave me a $3 discount on a spotting scope. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's like straight. Yeah, that one's solid. I can't even tell. I wonder, okay, so let's put this one we just cut back in and see if that straightened it up in a little bit. Yeah. Bit but you bit. gotta expect, I mean, yeah. like. So some of the trick with these is, learn this from a buddy, one's an archery shop. So once we get these glued in, you can actually take this and bend around on this and straighten it out. Really? Yeah, if you tweak that end or something, you can just go like this on a hard surface and straighten your arrow off. And he's like, he does it all the time. It's like, especially with the stainless steel, like it'll hold it. it it's somewhat malleable and, yeah. huh, that's awesome. Do your time lapse. Short. So if it's crooked on that end, you're just switching the knock around? Yep, we'll just pop the knock to the other side. And then on all these shafts, there's a spinal line right here. Yep. So you want that up. So you'll turn this, you'll turn the knock, that little tab, there's yep. a tab on your knock, gets to the side, and that spinal line's up. So when it comes out of your bow, it'll flex in a line, not like this. Yeah, it's, gotcha. So your spine's on top, so it'll flex up and down. It helps it from fishtailing and stuff. Right, because every, as it comes out of your bow, every single arrow whips like this through the air. Right. People think it just flies straight. That's not the no. case. It, it whips like this. So that you want it to whip the same yeah. every time. Yeah, you remember what that's called? It's like the, uh... No? It doesn't matter. I got like a 17 on my ACT score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't remember what that's called. I actually wrote a paper on it once, back in the day. That's how nerdy I got and you, you are nerdy. stuff. Wow. The things I'm learning about you. Yep, this side again. Mason here, he's just checking again, see which side wobbles the most, if it does, so we can cut the the right end off, so we can make sure they're the straightest as possible. We got this locked and loaded here in the position we want. 
and cut away. A liberal amount of this. <laughs> Have they plenty forgot. of paper towel. <laughs> they forgot to they, they forgot to put not in front of the spring. <laughs> No surface area will be left unglued. <laughs> so you always, when you put your insert in, you always want to spin it as you're putting it in. Just kind of like to get the max surface area, yep. kind of. I've been told that for literally arrows, pipe, when you put on pipe, if you're doing PVC or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's just, it helps lock it in, I guess. Yeah, almost, because it this tacks up pretty quick. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, I bet it, it's almost like a thread. Yep. Yeah, because we just did this one, what, 10 minutes ago? Yeah, if that. And that's, I mean, that's, that's rock not solid. moving anywhere. Rock solid. Arrows by uh, Mason. <laughs> I gotta be careful. He might want me to start running the bow shop and taking all the bow work. Yeah, that'd be all right. That'd be all right. I was looking for good help. <laughs> all right. So I used to use a Bitson burger. Glue each one on. Oh, yeah. Spin it, whatever. Yep. Elk shape. Shout out to old elk shape. Uses these. And they're legit. They What's are, special about these ones? You just put your veins in, you glue them, put that snap it in. Oh. Wait 10 seconds and your whole arrow's done. And you're done. Sweet. Not glue each vein, put it in there precisely. Oh, my gosh. It. it takes tedious. 10 times as long. <laughs> That's awesome. What color are you going with? I was thinking white and yellow. Which of which? I always wonder if two whites would be the way to go. More visible. Right. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go two whites, one yellow. We're going to... And you said you put wraps on these? No. No wraps? It's always kind of nice to be able to see a little bit of your arrow once you hit, but... And you'll see it, like if the sun catches it right, you'll see these things going through the air. It's kind of fun to shoot it like long distance, you can watch your arrow. It's pretty cool. Right, that little arc. The drop in. Yep. Yeah, that's a handy little tool. Yeah, it's pretty slick. I don't remember what it cost, 50 bucks maybe? I don't remember. But worth it. Oh, worth yeah. every penny. Oh, yeah. So you get your spinal line. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we got to... Look in here. So then... And then your cock vein is the odd colored one. Yep. So, let's see. Yeah, that's the cool thing with these, these vapes. They've got the spine line on there. I gotta remember how this. <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> it's all good content. So that's...
That's what uh, the VP of Matthews told me, Joel Maxfield. Really? Yeah. He used the super glue with the blue cap. He's like, yes, he used super glue with the blue cap. Nice. I would say he knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> that guy super will cool. forget more about this stuff than we'll ever yeah. learn. Oh, super cool dude, though. I told my wife for like uh, probably two months after I shot with him. I shot both of them one day. And uh, didn't realize it was him till like four targets in. I didn't know who he was from Adam, you know. And uh, <laughs> so then once I realized who it was, I went home and I was like, shot with the VP of Matthews. And pretty much any time I seen her, I was like, hey, did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you? You know what happened to me today? She's just like, that's enough of that. Uh, where were you shooting? Uh, I was down in Rochester. Coyote Creek put on a appreciation day or whatever. Okay. And uh, you know, yeah, is he a like, Wisconsin guy? Yep. Yeah. I was just shooting with this guy, and he had a V three X with the uh, with the limb uh, deal for setting it down for resting on the ground. It's oh got yeah, that three stand deal. Yeah, and I just commented. I was like, oh, "That's a pretty cool deal you got on your bow there." And he's like, "Oh, thanks. I helped design that." And I was like, "Wait, what'd you say?" <laughs> say that again. And uh, come again, sir. He's like, "Oh yeah, whatever. I work at Matthews. I'm I'm the VP there." I was like, "Uh, oh wow." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Then you wait 17 hours. Yeah. 17 hours later. Three days later. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Super glue with the blue cap. It's got a two degree helical on it. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's ready to rock. Wipe up any extra. Boom. Now you take your glue. You put a dot on the top of the arrow. And the bottom, however you want to look at it. basically so it's not going to catch and get yeah, a flap it, in there basically yep if it goes through an animal or goes through your target or whatever it won't rip off that'll help hold the front and the back here arrow in nice does it look like that spine aligned is aligning up looks pretty dang close it's pretty close close enough Close enough for how I shoot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little off, but I don't know how to adjust that on there. That's alright. There you go. Wow, it sounds like it's... I can't do the little... <laughs> you see guys do. <laughs> that signature ain't real if you can't do that. <laughs> oh. yeah. Right here, you can see the... All right, we just got our new arrows set up here by a straight shooter. And uh, we're gonna see if we can shoot some bullets with it. See how well Mason did here on, on getting these arrows fine too. That's a bullet. That's not bad. That's what you want right there. That is what you want. Wow. That's... Wow. We'll take that any day. All right, little archery pro tip. Pro, pro, pro tip. Pro, pro tip. Pro. And pro. string wax to your broadheads or your field points or whatever. That's... And uh, they'll stay screwed in.
Yeah. So, you know, every three shots and you, you hear that little rattle with yeah. that little field tip. Nope, not no more. She's pretty tight. That's it. Pretty tight. If not, you won't hear it. Yeah. <laughs>